All right, guys, so today's question is going to be a biochem and a pharmacology question. Uh, so let's see what you got. All right, guys, it reads, which of the following substances most likely explains the newborn's condition? All right, we have uh, answer choices are mother's use of cannabis, infant exposure to cocaine, mother's use of nicotine products, X-linked ex genetic disorder, or mother's intake of diet soda. All right, so uh, it says a 28-year-old woman gives birth to a full-term baby boy. The newborn baby is small and has a musty odor, okay? The mother states she did not engage in any illicit drugs or alcohol use during the pregnancy. Which of the following substances most likely explains the newborn's condition? All right, so you know, our only clues on this, um, this kid's born, uh, there's a, a small, maybe he didn't get some screening, there's a small musty, also we can say mousy, right? Kind of a giveaway on that. And... What are we thinking on, on this? We didn't say talk about seizures, didn't talk about any, any of that stuff, but given what we have here, we got to be thinking uh, PKU, right? And again, phenylalanine makes tyrosine, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but then it says, which of the substances most likely out of these, okay? Now, you could, you know, you could always make an argument that, hey, man, the kid's kind of small, and, and this may have occurred, not occurred, but what's the best answer for step for the step exams, okay? What do they want to, what are they, what are they really testing you on? Okay, and you go with the best answer, the best answer that you got. Now we know PKU. Now we know PKU is a buildup of phenylalanine. So then let's just go back and without, you know, without getting lost in the, in the weeds here, which of these gives me a buildup of phenylalanine? Now I, I wish they would have, you know, a phenylalanine hydroxylase deficiency or a dihydrobiopterin reductase deficiency, but they don't, you know, we're not that nice. So is it A, mother's use of cannabis? Eh, I don't see it, you know, uh, infant exposure to cocaine. Um, I don't know that it would give us this, right? I don't know if it would give us PKU. Mother's use of nicotine products, don't see it. X-linked genetic disorder, well, PKU is not X-linked, okay? Don't, don't fall in that just because it's a boy. Uh, you know, again, if it's, if it's an enzyme deficiency, we always kind of lean toward autosomal recessive if we don't know. Uh, mother's intake of diet soda. What's your answer? We're going with E. Because what's in diet soda? We have the aspartame, okay? The sweetener, which is going to give us the additional uh, phenylalanine, okay? Good question. Again, you got to make the diagnosis and what was the potential, you know, we already know phenylalanine hydroxylase or dihydrobopterin reductase are our two choices. But again, on this situation, what else could could be you know precipitating this? This mom, uh, you know, heck, they, who knows? They might even have true PKU. But if, if this mom's drinking a ton of diet, ton of diet soda, a lot, copious amounts, maybe they pass the screening for PKU um, and and stuff. But you know, if the mom was drinking, you know, excessive aspartame, diet soda and aspartame, maybe maybe it can lead to that. I, I, I don't know, but it's in my, it's on my differential. And in this situation, it's the best answer choice uh, for us. This one reads, a uh, which of the following would best explain the sequence in phase zero of the myocardial action potential? Okay, and we can see this. And again, this looks like a cardiac myocyte because we know a pacemaker is going to be more like this. Uh, the myocyte... It will have that, and it'll have, it'll have that plateau, which is the key differentiator between the two. So a pacemaker cell uh, would show this, and then a myocyte would show that. So this is obviously a cardiac myocyte, um, and they tell us it is. A research student explains to his peers that the cardiac myocyte cells have a quick influx in phase zero, representative of the steep slope in the image below. Which of the following would best explain the sequence in phase zero of the myocardial action potential? Now, again, if you don't know, review that uh, cardiac... Uh, you know, uh, lecture series. And I always had that lightning bolt on there like I talked about before. Why? Because when we're here, we're talking voltage gated. We're not talking ligand. Okay? And we said the slow, if I were to do these, the slow up is going to be calcium. The difference in the quick up is going to be sodium. Okay? All right, sodium. Uh, and then... Going anything coming out, we have the banana peel on the inside, so potassium leaks out. He's going to be responsible for things going down. And then even right here, he's responsible for things going down. But when there's a when there's a plateau, it's the 
potassium going out, but it's the calcium channels that open that will create the plateau. Uh, but in this situation, we're going phase zero, and you better be jumping all over B voltage-gated uh, sodium channels opening. Hope you liked the video, guys.